Hey guys, how you doing? Um, if you're looking at this video, I guess it's because you wanted to check out the 1974 Impala that's for sale. It's this one behind me. It's my beloved car, but it's time to move it on. Um, I'm going to give you a tour of the car. Um, and basically, this video is just so I could... It, hopefully, it answers questions that you might be uh, keen to send me. And um, stuff that you maybe would want to find out when you're actually coming to inspect the car I'd rather just do it as a video uh, there's nothing to hide here that way um you don't waste your time and you don't waste my time man uh, because i mean i've got kids and everything and i have a busy you know two jobs and everything so i haven't got the time to pull this car out for every inspection um only just to sort of have a tire kick or something like that all right so this is just a video just kick back enjoy it um i'm just going to go through the car all the ins and outs of it and um and that hopefully it answers most of your questions yeah now just before we get into it um just a quick little note um if you have a car for a trade or if you really haven't got anywhere near the asking price please um don't don't waste my time man you know what i mean i mean i got a glass house and I got a 70 Caprice there. I'm not interested in, um, like, you know, a Serato or, or VL or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just not, man. I'm a Chevy guy. I'm not interested in trades at the moment. I've got a project car that I'm going to be working on. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't got the cash, um, then, then, you know, just watch the video. Enjoy the video, but, but, but that's about it. All right? All right, guys, thanks. Let's get started on this. Okay. This is the 1974 Chevrolet Impala. You can tell it's an Impala because of this, uh, these um, indicators here. Uh, and not like the Caprice, the front end's a little bit different on a, on a Caprice. Uh, this is much much like the uh, 74 Ford ZH. I'm sure this car inspired it. Uh, but all right, let's just have a little bit of a walkthrough on the front end here, just so you could have a good look. Um, it's got those half moons on it. The half moons are right there. All four have them. It's got the original buckets there. They've only been polished. They haven't been re chromed or anything like that. It's got good lenses over here and uh, some decent stainless, right? Uh, that's actually not stainless, sorry. That's aluminium. The aluminium usually comes in a, in a oxidized aluminium. Or is it oxidized? Anodized, my, my apologies. Anodized aluminium, which makes it matte. Um, but that's been polished off. Um, we also we can see that the much uh, the very difficult to sort of uh, get um, are the bumper fillers. Usually you see these cars without the bumper fillers. Um, I had to bring that in and fix them up. Um, I had to bring that in from the states uh, when I was overseas. I brought it in the luggage. The corners. Uh, it's got all the bumper fillers on them as well. As you can see, it's also got the overriders. Uh, these bumpers. These bumpers also have um you know new bolts and that sort of stuff you know what i mean just to sort of help it all um hold together nicely uh, so you won't find any sort of rust and taking these bumpers out if you will need to do any repairs or anything like that shouldn't be an issue uh just having a look at the grill right there the grill is straight it's uh not cracked or anything it did have one slight repair which was up in the corner here uh but hardly noticeable it's got the um it's got the original emblem there um, and behind it you can see the radiator which gets good airflow this car is not an air conditioned car it's got the the air conditioner condenser and the radiator or whatever it is it's um it's actually got that removed so that the car doesn't overheat a lot of these um chevys were built in detroit in colder climates so here in the dry australian weather they tend to overheat here we got the bonnet <coughs> the bonnet is uh I mean, it's not very exciting, you know what I mean? But it is straight and it looks nice. Um, the chromes for the bonnet are there as well. Sometimes these come missing on cars, man. They pull them out, but uh, but now that's right there. All right, let's move on to the uh, side of the car here. All right, just looking at the side of the car. It's been painted, of course. Uh, the paint job is probably about, oh man, a year old or something like that. Uh, as you can see right there. It's got some um, 7, 7 by 13 um, chrome wires with the gold knockoff in the center right there, just in case you're colorblind. Um, the white walls, just have a look at that tread. 
Tread's not too bad. Um, this car is on air, right? See, it's got airbags in there. Uh, it's still got the shock absorber in there, though. The, the shock absorber's been relocated so that the front end doesn't bounce around like a spas. All right. Um, all right. Let's let's just keep moving on here. A really cool feature about this car: these side view mirrors. Now, I mean, they look. The, if if you go to the states, you won't see these mirrors here on these cars, right? These mirrors turns out that these mirrors were a Holden or a GM dealer factory option. So the gentleman who actually brought this car in in the 70s had this mirror installed in it, and these are what they call Lucky mirrors, and um, they are power mirrors. The controls are actually in, inside there, um, but they're not connected. Um, as I was pulling the door cards apart and doing that um, You can see that the car the wire has been severed so um, That that wire would need to be connected if you want to use the power mirrors, but they still move of course uh, manually All right um, door handles have been replaced um, <coughs> That's all functioning the way it's supposed to be functioning uh, The door's got some gaps there if you have a look at the gaps. They may seem a little bit wide. Um, that's just because the um, The car the the cars actually got some new rubbers there you see new door rubbers, so um They're still sitting in you know what I mean? So uh, they're still sitting in the door jam. There's no rust or anything yet Let's close that bad boy Let's move on. Glass is all looking good. This glass tends to freaking, um, it tends to leak um, and weep um, moisture into the back of this. That's all being taken care of right there and resealed. Um, so that's all good. Um, got the wheel spats there. These wheel spats um, are from the States as well, of course. They were not original to the car. The Impala didn't come with it. They're a Caprice. Um, they're a Caprice uh, option, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's got the skirts there. I had to get those in from the States as well. Got the sill panel there, uh, just running along the bottom. It's not fantastic. It does have a little bit of a dent. And also right here on the rocker, right down the bottom there, there's, um, well, you know, a little bit of, um, I don't know, surface rust, a little bit of bubbling just happening there. You can see how right down the bottom, the frame just looks like that, man, because of the sole, I guess this, this car was uh, from Geelong, so you know you get that sort of uh, surface, sort of that uh, that snow, that snow. What the fuck am I talking about, man? You get that sort of surface rust right there, man. But the frame is 100%, man. Don't don't you worry about that. I just painted that in there just to clean it up and make it look nice. You know what I mean? When you got the car jacked up. All right, let's keep moving on. Looking back here, you got the rear light there. That rear light is not cracked. Don't worry about these blisters. This the paint has two blisters, one there, one there, this part. Um, that's actually from moisture that's shot out of the gun. Um, so got a little bit of shrinkage there. That's not an after effect after the car's being painted. So don't stress that 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 paint right there is going is uh, basically cracking and peeling and shit like that. Don't worry about that. That's not gonna happen. Um, you can see the stainless steel exhaust has also been installed. That's actually a dual exhaust. Let me just show you here. Straight pipe dual exhaust. You see? That's a straight one. The car's actually not on an angle. It's actually the um yeah, the flooring. I just haven't got the car leveled out at the moment. <coughs> and these are these are these sort of drag pipes, so when the car's laid it um those pipes slam the floor, man. It looks really nice. Let's move on to the back. Now, of course, we've got some graphics there on the uh, on the top. Man, the car's patterned out. This is uh, using um, DNA paint. Um, it's used a combination of two candies, um, the color of the car, and then a mixture of everything. Man, everything was patterned out. See, it's got some real nice patterns right there. It goes onto the boomerang here as well. The boomerang's in good condition. There is absolutely no rust under this, man. So don't don't stress out. You're not gonna find um, this piece or here all rusted. The car does have this. If you look at this, the inner boomerang, see that? It, these cars are absolutely, man. They're, they're known for rusting there. It's because of the humidity that actually builds inside the car 
when you're hanging out inside and, and you get a bit of condensation here so these are these are known to rust man um they are rusted i obviously haven't removed the rear glass to get that looked at man but um next time i want to take it to that next level man you know that's just the way it is all right let's move on to the back there you go these are the this is the back here i just got the covers uh, I just got the license plate uh, covered up, man. Um, you're welcome to keep the rag. If you want the rag, uh, you can keep that. That's okay, man. I'll throw that in. Now, the, everything. This is the aluminium anodized. The anodized aluminium that I was telling you about. See, it's not reflective. Um, at first, I didn't like it. But I tell you something, man. When this car is actually sitting in low light, instead of the chrome looking black and just dark, that aluminium that anodized aluminium pops man and you get this beautiful sort of outline around your real lights you see i mean this left one's doing it right now see that one looks a bit chromey but if when it catches it right on the right light man it like looks this flat this flat light color man it, it's, it's beautiful especially for photographs or anything like that man it looks really nice um the car see the bumpers are well, the bumpers are straight, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, the bumpers are straight. There's no dramas there. Um, obviously, these are the OG bumpers, man. So it's got a little bit of scratches, you see? See, it's got some scratches there, man. Like I said, I'm not trying to hide anything, man. This car has also got a gigantic tow bar. See that tow bar there? That's actually bolted onto the frame. I left that on. I didn't want to remove it. Reason being um, is because when you lay, when you got the front up, when you pop the front right up and then you lay the ass in down, uh, that tow ball actually scrapes and that is the first thing to damage before any of the car is damaged, man. So that's, um, that's something I've deliberately left in there just to make sure that no other parts of the car get damaged. If anything, it's just a bit of piping under there, man. So um, <clears throat> let's see for the rear end right there. Uh, let's just have a look, a quick look at the boot, right? Okay, so the boot is nothing special, guys, all right? It basically has, a, like I said, air ride system. This is not Acura, uh, what do you call it? Acura Air and all this where it self-levels or anything like that. It's not like that, man. Um, the airbags on this are designed to hit and, uh, you know, to hit hard, you know what I mean? So the rear end can come off the ground if you if you got it on, um, on max pressure in that, man. Uh, but, yeah, it's just... Um, these are half inch lines these ones man so you get a lot of volume coming out of them they're half inch lines you have an extra battery that's not a relocation battery this is actually a separate battery for the system itself dual tanks dual compressors they're the bigger compressors i guess um look man on average i think it takes probably be a i would say about a minute to a minute and a half of it pumping to fill the thing up man it's um it's quite big and um when I go out with the fellas and we're just hitting, you know, we're hitting switches and doing all that jazz, the, um, you know, it doesn't seem to sort of run out of air. Like, I mean, you, I do if I do go non-stop, but for the most part, it actually, it's actually really good. You know, it's a little bit more than just a lay and play setup, man. It's actually quite good. Um, hasn't got a moisture catcher here, man. I've got a manual tap. This one, uh, it's got a, let me just take it out. It's got this. That's just so you can hang it over the edge, open it up, and then uh, just shoots all the moisture out, man. You know what I mean? That's just uh, pretty much it. Pretty straightforward setup. You know what I mean? It's all just sort of bolted down and looking good. That, of course, is a gas tank. This car has got, this car has, is dual fuel, yeah? So it's got gas. Um, <clears throat> it's just the way the car came, man. You know what I mean? You got an old man driving a big V8, doesn't want to doesn't want it to uh, cost him a fortune, so he's got a gas tank, right? So, some people, that's a bonus. You don't, people who don't give a shit about the engine bay, that's a bonus. Um, but for people who do want to do an engine bay display and all that jazz, um, uh, yeah, you might want to remove, have the, the gas tank removed and all that shit, man. Lights are good. Again, the rims are good. The rims aren't buckled. These are not sevens. It hasn't got a shortened rear end. It hasn't got a Monte Carlo rear end. It has the stock rear end, and these are fives. So you've got the seven, seven deep there, and you've got the five here, and that's so that it would clear the skirts. If you don't do that, uh, the skirts rub up against the tire um, and the rim. So, um, yeah, you've got the fives there at the back, man. But they, they look nice, man. They look really nice. All right, guys, uh, that's, a, that's about it on the outside. Um, oh, actually, one last thing. Let's have a, have a look at that roof. All right, this is the roof here. We've got some patterns right there. 
You know what I mean? It's got that patterned roof. Now, the intention of these patterns was not to start from the actual trim itself. The trim, as you can see, is all in good condition. But instead, to actually incorporate the color of the car um, into the roof. Uh, that way the patterns just sit in a more of a artistic piece rather than just ma a masked off section of the car with patterns on it, man. Uh, there's different tastes, but um, with these cars, uh, the Caprice or if you've got a vinyl roof like the Landowns and that, they would have a piece of trim that runs along the bottom here like that. But this is an Impala. It, it didn't have that, right? It's actually just a plain roof. So that's uh, quite deliberate to leave the color of the car so that when the car's laid out on its side, it looks like one color. It doesn't look like it has a vinyl roof or anything like that. Um, but it's not until the car is um, riding with the ass in down that you realize it's actually got patterns on the roof as well and that, man. So um, that's that's quite deliberate. It's more like the uh, the car has a comb over, you know, a comb back, you know, it's got the its hair uh, slicked back. That's why the patterns go in that direction like that and up here, man. So um, I'll try to give you a good view of the patterns there. <coughs> it's a closer inspection of the pattern work. Like I said, it's all candy, all candy colors, man. Um, and it's candy, and the color is um, a MIPA color, so MIPA paint, man. It's got a DNA custom, uh, custom clear on the outside, so it's really nice and reflective. And then you've got the, um, and then you've got the the, the high end paint, the MIPA paint, the German paint um, on the car itself. I got the wipers. Right, I've actually removed the wipers. Uh, I've removed them because I think it just kind of looks cleaner. I never even uh, used them, man. Um, just yeah, I just think it looks nicer. I know I can't take it to like car washes and do all that sort of shit, but I still think it looks badass, just like that, man. All right, let's go inside and um, have a look. All right, so um, this is the interior here. The door cards are all original, no dramas. As you can see, I've got new rubbers there. And doors have been painted. Um, dude, there's no. I just want to make that clear. Like, there's no, there's no rust there. Yeah. The only, the only section, like I said, is the uh, rocker panel, which is at the bottom. No, not, not at the top. Like here, it's at the bottom, right? Like, see, we just see where the chrome, where the um, seal panel is down the bottom there. That's the one that I'm talking about. See how it's bubbling in that. Um, that that section, that little piece there, man, hasn't been done. That's on this side and on the other side, but there's no like rust on the quarters or under here or anything like that, man. Don't don't stress about that. Um, this is all original again. It's a Fisher body. Sorry, I didn't vacuum the inside. The car sitting on it. It's got four switches. Um, just there, one to each wheel. The original cluster. It's all held in nicely. The original steering wheel. Um, <coughs> this is obviously a column shift. It's not a manual. It's not a three-speed or uh, manual. It's a turbo 350. So just a three-speed. Um, these are the seats right here and uh, the bottom part of the seat is good now with the rear seat this part is actually not that good um, it needs to have this backing done the actual back of the car here is actually fine but this is just a seat cover just to get me by just to put a little bit of color man I didn't want I didn't want any sort of dramas with it you know it looking all ugly and shit but you see that's the original there but see it's got that little tear there so I didn't want to. I didn't want that shit to sort of uh, to pop up, man. So I just put this cover on it, man. Just sewed it up by hand. Um, that way, it just cleans things up. The rear seat is is fine, man. It's a beautiful color. When you're in here, man, it is. Uh, you know, you yeah. It's Dr. Green Thumb in here, man. I uh, got some six by nines there. They're not amped, man. But you know, it's just to play me some tunes. But this the interior is complete, man. And I tell you something. <laughs> it's a good thing that this interior is complete all right it is a good thing um let's just jump inside as you can see the car is right hand drive it's not factory right hand drive this car is actually converted so they actually went to the trouble of splitting this dash and changing it over uh man the the brakes have a bar that runs along the bottom of the car 
because the brake booster is still on the on the left hand side the way the american car was made um i mentioned before that this car is an impala but it has some nice features so it's got the power windows uh there it's got the the electric windows there um they work man they work just fine uh ashtray if you're a smoker which is all good um if you're wondering what that is that is because um from memory this part here is is actually it's got a little knob there that allows you to control these mirrors via the cable it's like a manual sort of control but because these were fitted in with the Luki uh dealer optioned um power mirrors um it hasn't got that it's just got that covered with some a uh, little bit of wood grain there you know what i mean um that these are the Luki switches here see so up and down left and right and all that sort of shit uh the car's got a kill switch it's got the gauge there again this car uh, i've just been running it on gas that's it that switch there is for the compressors for me to be able to turn them off and on sometimes if you're just hearing the fucking compressors man there you know what i mean you just want to turn them off you don't want to be making all that noise you just turn them off manually this one here is for the thermo fans so you could turn them on manually um the temperature gauge has been installed in the block so that uh, these cars never had a temperature gauge uh, so that you know if it's overheating, man. But the uh, the car does not overheat, man. So don't worry about that. Uh, you'll you'll be fine cruising this car. It's got some uh, aftermarket vents here. Um, you know, like the gold and that. Yeah, and there's no cracks on this uh, dash. You know, it's really nice, man. Really nice above here. You know, the headline is nice. You know what I mean? Lights are nice. Got a green light there. It looks a bit tacky, man. I might remove that shit. That's a bit teeny bobber right there, man. A little bit. I got a. I got a little bit P plate when I when I bought that shit, man. So, um, might just get the normal ones. Got the OG uh side uh rear view mirror right there. Um, yeah, not an aftermarket one. It's got a little bit of um, I don't know what this shit is called, man. Needs some silvering. You can get an aftermarket one, or you can actually pull this glass off because this is a rubber, right? This is rubber. You can actually pull this off remove it with the blade and then you can go and you can buy the actual spray on mirror um and you you spray it on on the one side and then it mirrors on the other uh with the silver nitrate and then um yeah you could just assemble it all and it's all good this has the original glass man still got your og glass it's got the um antenna in there man <coughs> yeah so we're looking good like I mentioned to you before, this car is not perfect. Uh, it's got little little things, man, as old cars do. So one of those things is that when you're ready to turn on the car, um, it doesn't turn on when it's in park, you know. It has to be brought onto the neutral there for you to be able to uh, turn the car on. All right. And then you can pop it back in uh, park if you like, man. Uh, that's not a drama. <coughs> But yeah, man, it just starts up. It's no drums, man. Like, uh, car one over here or anything. All right. Well, the seatbelts are all good, of course. Yeah, and they all work, man. They retract the way they're supposed to retract. Let's just lay the car out uh, a little bit so we can see this. Let me just pop the ass in down. That's how the ass in looks when it's dropped. I'll just give you a walk around here. See that? The car's a little bit cold, man, so sounds like it's about to turn off or something, but that's how it lays, yeah? So you got the front like that, all good, yeah. Uh, I might drop it down just so you can see how it looks when it's laid. <coughs> this car lays, um, lays frame, guys, yeah? That's on the K-frame right there, man. <laughs> This car lays frame, see? But that's it there, man. You can't get lower than that, man, right? You can't get lower than that. But that's it right there, right? Looks nice. Looks really good. This is the glass house, man. This is the way they are, you know what I mean? They got like fat asses and that. They look really nice. This is, um, yeah, definitely one of my favorite cars, man. One of my favorite cars. They're just fucking gangster, man. There's not many of these in Australia, too, man. See that? 
That shit is king, man. All right, let me pop it up. Do the front here. Let me see if you can see the front. It goes up. See that? Jumps up quick, man. It's not. Yeah, not for the light-hearted, man. It jumps up quick. See what I'm saying? That's the sound of the compressor. You can hear him. Speed from inside the car. You hear it, man. It's like a hum. It's not that loud. It's actually all right. Yeah, but that's the car right there, man. See that? So this is a long video, but if you're considering purchasing the car, hit me up. I'll leave my details there in the description of the video so that uh, you guys can make an informed decision. If you like what you've seen, then hit me up. Um, actually, I might just show you the motor real quick, man. Um, yeah, the hood release is on the other side. I'll just show you the motor real quick, man. I didn't really want to show the motor because the motor is like one of these things, man. It's like showing your dirty socks when it's not when it's not displayed or anything like that, man. So give me a second. Let me just pop the bonnet. Uh, here's the motor. These are Optima batteries. Got the uh, obviously uh, it's all there, man. Again, man, it's got that that elephant snorkel, man. Ugly as shit, man. But it's got a 140 amp. Um, uh, alternator which uh, runs everything fine you know everything's cool the the uh, booster actually isn't that old man the booster I, I got rebuilt probably about um, whew, I'd say about um, about a year ago or something like that so um that's it my main focus on this car was the heating system man so I got the aluminium um, yeah I got the aluminium thing they put in um, you know, and a uh, uh, radiator and some thermo fans that kick in uh, when the car's overheating, man. So that's about it, guys. You know what I mean? Um, if you got any questions, again, hit me up. I just wanted to give you a bit of a tour, man, um, so you can see the car. Um, it's faults, it's good things, it's bad things, all of that. So it's all there, man. Um, yeah, don't don't really want to hide anything, man. If you if I've missed anything, I'll mention it to you guys in the in the comments. Oh yeah, yeah. <coughs> there was one thing with these hinges. When you close the bonnet, the hinges may need a like adjusting or repinning in that because it just it just doesn't the spring doesn't kind of push the. It's like a two two stage sort of hinge. Uh, it doesn't do that. Um, so I got to kind of bring it down softly manually. Just bring the back down just so it lays flat, man. Um, so you can't just go ahead and slam the bonnet on this one, man. Uh, but that's it, guys. All right. See that? That was beautiful, man. You know, you're cruising around with some nice color. That's the way, man. That's the way. Yeah, so that's the car there, guys. Um, please, like I said, don't, if you if you got a car for trade or something like that, um, it's not really something I'm interested in, man. Uh, cash is king. So um, if you've got the if you got the cash for the car. Um, you got a you got a good offer or something like that hit me up um but like i said man just try to use the video as a reference and if you are absolutely serious after the video then uh feel free to come in and then we'll check out the car all right see see ya.